Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the watchOS 9.6 Beta 1. My name is Jay and you are watching TechHyped. Alright, so today Apple has released the watchOS 9.6 and along with the watchOS 9.6, we have all the updates. iPadOS 16.6, iOS 16.6 Beta 1. Watch OS 9.6, I already talked about that, yeah. And TV OS, I'm not really sure what exact version about that because I don't happen to own one. Uh, TV OS 16.6 as well, I just checked. Anyways, now that you know how dumb I am, let me talk about how crazily smart I am when it comes to iOS and Watch OS and Apple related content. That's why you should hit that subscribe button and subscribe to Tech Hype because I keep on making cool videos for you guys and talk about watch os ios and a lot of cool stuff on this channel i'm so close to 10k and would be amazing if you can hit that subscribe button first of all let me address that is there any new watch faces in this update the answer is no apple is more focusing on the watch os 10 watch os 10 will be really really excited if you haven't already watched my watch os 10 what's expected video that's up on the channel you can watch it i have linked it below the like button or up in the i card you can watch that video it's a really cool video and i'm pretty sure you will love it also the ios 16.6 beta 1 video is out on the channel as well talking about what's new in this update there is not exactly anything new which is majorly uh, on this update as of now there are no new features or anything but there are some things that uh, i have noticed after installing this update number one is the watch os selection tab the watch os selection tab seems to be a bit buggy and uh, there was some animation glitches while scrolling of course betas tend to be uh, notorious and do these kind of behavior that's pretty normal but seeing that it is a 9.6 beta like we are pretty much very deep in the watch os 9 it is really weird that we are having this kind of bug also i know you guys want some new features on watch os but there are not anything new coming on the watch os but yeah it will be worth it on the watch os 10 we will have a lot of new things let's talk about how big this update was this update was around 1.2 gb on my watch that's really really huge Let's talk about is it worth installing it on your watch or not. Downgrading your Apple Watch is a real pain and I am pretty sure you should not install it because number one reason there aren't anything new which is that tempting for you to install this update and in general i'm not a big fan of this update either because it just does not pack in anything new and i'm pretty sure this means that apple is getting us excited for watch os 10 you know what i'm talking about this is craig i know i see you uh, you sneaky i know what you're doing about battery life battery life is something that is a bit too early right now to talk about as it's just been a few hours that i'm using this version on my watch but it till now it seems pretty much the same and uh, overall this update is not something to be a lot excited about i don't see anything new major by now there are some bugs and glitches that i've noticed and uh, not anything new as of now i will keep you guys updated on my twitter if i find anything new i will talk about more features and changes if i find any in my follow-up video so hit that like button and this is me jay aka tech hyped signing off peace